Cheers ladies and gentlemen and today in our studio is Ikura 2. Well, someone will have to tell about the undeservedly defined of attention roguelite shooter, a continuation of the same heretic with evil carrots. Moreover, on October 28th, a year ago, he finally left early access, where I managed to play exactly 24 hours, and since it's too late to publish the news, I try myself in this format. We take in a hand for a magic cannon, a standard one, a terrible looking spellbook, a heavy stuff and something more complicated. For example a crossbow, or not blunderbuss. We grab an amulet, which the right time can greatly help out and set off the cleanup the next location from hundreds and maybe thousands of blood shedding monsters dreaming of eating tasty people. The fact that we are unexpected magicians does not mean that all grunting and barely moving out our varicose legs scare off the enemies with the creak of sword back. Drowning out the sounds of fireballs. On the contrary, like a young tracer, we will disturb to the right and to the left, quickly jumping over high walls, climbing the ledges with unwillable ease, and then jumping down from the great height. Jerks at the last moment, saving from a proxy flying in our direction, jumping platform, set up by some crazy fan of old area shooters. All this awaits us in a campaign against hordes of evil spirits that escape from a magical person. While exploring another city fluid with the savage, a disturbed tomb, an abandoned mine or ice-covered gorge, we will meet not only monsters, someone consistently arranged the cheats with the weapons, shop, doors, with secret decay to which were previously broken into three parts and hid in different rooms, and also fire traps and torn that add more popcorn to the process of exploring places where a normal person in life would not stick. This is how I tried to convey the general impression of the game, and now it's probably worth briefly telling that we are dealing with and why it's better on the first part. Before us, a very dynamic roguelite shooter with the usual attributes of fashionable roguelikes. Each trip naturally takes place in generated locations. In them, we convert animals into resources for pumping both with the race and globally. The first type of pumping is manifested in the choice of previously discovered skills. The second is to improve the weapon itself and the global characteristic of all characters at the same time. The game encourages us to use different weapons in the races and preferably be the last pump. This is how we make the progress the fastest. This is the transferring weapons to a new level, we get a point that we can spend on the characteristics. The nuance in this much easier to pump a fresh cannot to several levels that on a very considerably improve one by at least one. The weapon itself, like the skills, is unlocked for successful completion of tasks. Tasks look like this. On a conditional map, we select a dungeon, estimate its size, difficulty and reward. If as a result we should get a spell, then the unsuccessful competition of the campaign we are open a random weapon from the spell class. Also, before the battle we choose a hero, each of which has its own unique ability as well as the starting set of the weapons. I almost forgot we also opened the heroes, but only after the completion of the plot tasks. In general, in the progression the game is quite simple to understand, at the same time it did not cause any complaints from me. Should be said that during the early access there was not a very successful decision to use the same currency both with the race and in a global pumping bed before the release, fortunately everything was changed. Everything is standard for the game and developers clearly grab the most successful ideas from the other project. Much more interesting in the game is another thing, the battle themselves. Their dynamism is better appreciated by watching the trailer than by reading the text of dubies. As I mentioned, we carry four cannons with us, one of each classes. During the race, they can be changed for something else because there are simply a huge number of weapons in the game and its strikers, the ammunition with its diversity and unuseless. This is most likely a work of errors to first part, where the main complaint of the players was not very wide variety of weapons of reprisal against monsters. The second complaint about the weapon from the first part is slowness, long animation of shots and reloading. Here the developers like students who receive a 3 but dreaming of the highest mark in quarter decided to turn dynamis to the maximum. Each type of weapon uses its own known kind of mana, it is presented to the form crystals as corresponding color. Between the floors as well as the end of the dungeon the player is waiting for the boss quality as mm. 
At this, probably the only moment in the game on an average difficulty level that makes you tense. As with other roguelites, clearing rooms is just preparation for the final battle. Importantly, the boss does not have any resist or vulnerabilities any weapon will work against him. The main enemy is chosen randomly, but almost all of them summon smaller minions on which you can restore spent mana and sometimes help. Sometimes the boss spawns enemy that put a barrier on him. In general, you can talk about the mechanics for a long time. I try to give a first impression of the game and to interest those who might like this game. I really hope that my slightly chaotic uh, review will cope with the task because I, w I was dealing with this during the break between the rings in Zikura 2 and I want to play a little more before going to bed. To summarize, then the second part they added everything that was in the first but significantly increased both in a deep and in the breathe. We don't eat one in conventional points and without adding any that could break the concept of dynamic shooter. After long hours in Ziggurat 2 it was no longer possible to return to the first one. I'll shoot before that as sometimes played with it. Thank you for attention who played write the comments how it was. Peace.